world? It's your boy Filozco here. You know that American dude with the incredible mood? That's me. And what am I giving you a lesson on today? Well today, I'm going to give you another lesson on the most common made sound in the English language. It's actually, in that case, the most important sound made in the English language. And what sound is this? It's the uh, the uh sound, which is known as the schwa sound or the neutral sound as some people may call it. Now this sound usually appears in a word that has two or more syllables in the English language. For example, what is a syllable? Well, a syllable is basically a word, a uh, sound with no breaks in a word. So for example, my name is Philip. How many syllables? Philip two. My YouTube name is Philuchko. How many syllables? Philuchko. Okay. I have some friends who live in Philadelphia. How many Philadelphia? Philadelphia. Five syllables, okay? So the schwa sound usually replaces a vowel, a vowel sound in a word that has two or more syllables. Now today, I have a list here of 10 words with two or more syllables in the English language that uh, are mostly used in the classroom. Words that deal with things that happen in the classroom or things that are in the classroom. Basically things that are in the classroom, okay? So, before I go to all 10, I want to give you an example of a word with the schwa sound. So let's think of one. Let's think of the word, I'm going to say it incorrectly first so you can understand what the schwa sound is. Let's take the word president. President. President, okay? Now that word has one, two, three syllables. Now, there's an E, an I, then an E. Those are the three vowels in there. It's actually not pronounced president, it's president, president, president. The only letter, the only vowel in that sound that actually gets pronounced properly is the first E. That's it, the first E. The next two vowels are schwa, president, president. That's how we say it in America, he's the president, he's the president. But if you don't know that, you're more likely to say he's the president, he's the president. He's the president, and that sounds funny if you don't say president like everyone else, and you say president because you don't know about the schwa sound, you will sound funny. So let's get to these, boom, 10 words right here, and let's find out where the schwa sounds are. Now, not all of these words will contain a schwa sound. Some of them do, most of them do, but some of them don't. And some of them may even pertain more than one, so more than one schwa sound in that one word. So let's review, ready? Now the first word, I'll pronounce it, and you tell me if you can find which vowel gets a schwa sound. All right, the word pencil, pencil. Is there a schwa sound there? Pencil. Well, yes, the schwa sound is on the I, because I'm saying pencil. You can hear me loud and clearly pronounce the E, but when I pronounce the I, it's barely there. Pencil, pencil. What is a pencil? You know it's what you write with, and it has a, a piece on the top of it, you can erase stuff, yes, pencil. Simple, the schwa sound is on the I in the word pencil. So no pencil, but pencil, okay? Next word, uh, I'll pronounce this one too for you. Paper, paper. Uh, in class, you need a lot of paper in order to write your notes. If you don't have paper, you can't write your notes. Now, where's the schwa sound in paper? Is it the A or the E? Well, in this word, it is the E, because you hear me pronounce the word, you hear me pronounce the vowel A loud and clear, paper. Paper, loud and clear, okay? Now for the next eight, I'm not going to pronounce it first. First, I want to see if you can pronounce it yourself and get it. Now, next word, T-E-A-C-H-E-R. <clears throat> Is there a schwa sound in there? Which uh, vowel do you think gets a schwa sound? Well, this word is pronounced teacher, teacher, teacher. And well, the schwa sound is here is on the last E, right before the R. So it's teacher, not teacher but teacher. Now usually when a word ends in E-R, the schwa comes on that E and the R is silent. That's how it usually is, okay? So if you can remember that rule, you can apply that to all words that end in E-R and it'll definitely help you out. Instead of saying, she's my teacher, say, she's my teacher. And you sound much more like a native speaker. Next one, we have C-H-I-L-D-R-E-N. A lot of little kids basically running around in the room being annoying. Is there a schwa sound in there? Well, there is. Listen carefully. Children, children, children. Where is it? It is on the last E. I said children, not children, but children. The schwa sound is on the last E, but the N is pronounced here. Unlike with ER, the N is pronounced. So it's not children, children. It's children, children. The N sound is important. Next word, 
C L A S S M A T E S. Is there a schwa sound in there? That's my phone. Is there a schwa sound in there? Well, actually, in this word, there's no schwa sound. There's class, the A is pronounced, mates. The next A is also pronounced, but the E sound, it doesn't make a sound, the E, the letter E, does not make a sound at all. It's not there for pronouncing. It's actually there so you know to say A instead of A, because if the E wasn't there, this word would be classmats, classmats. But because the E is there, it has a consonant, and then it has a vowel behind it, it makes that vowel behind it say its own name, the vowel behind the consonant. So it's classmates instead of classmats, and there's no schwa sound in there, okay? Classmates, all right? Next one, H-O-M-E-W-O-R-K. We all should do this when we're at home, but we don't all do it. Is there a schwa sound in there? Yes, it is the last O, homework, homework. You should do your homework at home before you go to school. Don't try to do your homework in the classroom but at the beginning of the class. I used to do that a lot as a kid. It's not good. So it's homework. Schwa sound is on the last O, okay? Now three, four more words and we're finished. Next word, R-U-L-E-R. -E what is the ruler? Well, I'll probably put a picture here for you so you know what a ruler is. I just gave it away. <laughs> Where's the schwa sound in the word ruler? You guys already know, it's that E. The E before the R, it gets the schwa sound. Ruler, ruler. That's how we pronounce it, ruler. The only reason I gave that one away was because I didn't think you guys knew what a ruler was. Not everyone knows what a ruler is. Next word. The word, the word that starts with a C, ends with an R. I don't want to spell the whole thing, you see it. Is there a schwa sound in there? Is there a schwa sound in there? Well, yes. Listen carefully. Calculator. 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 Well, actually, in this word, it's a little iffy because you want to know something? There's two possible schwa sounds. This one, it varies a lot the way to pronounce this word. So you can make the last O a schwa sound and say calculator, calculator, or you can make the U a schwa sound and say calculator, calculator. So this one is iffy. If I were you, I would just say calculator, calculator, and kind of get it all out there, calculator. But some people might schwa the last O, and some people might schwa the U. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. So this word right here, there's many ways to pronounce it, but I would just pronounce it all and just say calculator. Calculator. One heard, right? So calculator works. Or calculator. Calculator. Schwa the last one if you want to sound like a New York. Yeah, man, I just bought a new calculator. You know what I mean? So let's go to the next one. <laughs> Calculators. Uh, next one is... E-R-A-S-E-R. -E -E this is what you use, it's called rubber in British English. It's what you use to, you know, get rid of the pencil stuff. Is there a schwa sound in here? Well, yes, same thing. E-R ending is eraser, eraser. E, that E sound is not a schwa, that A is not a schwa. e -ra eraser. There you go. Now for the last one. D-I-C-T-I-O-N-A-R-Y. Is there a schwa sound in there? This one's a little difficult. Listen carefully. Dictionary. 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 Well, in this one, two vowels come together to make a schwa sound. The I and the O come together to make a schwa sound. That's what happens here. It's dictionary. Dictionary. And that's interesting because sometimes two vowels can be together, come together to make one schwa sound. So it's not dictionary. It's dictionary. Not dictionary. Don't say dictionary. No one's going to understand you saying dictionary. It's going to think something's wrong with you. It's dictionary. Dictionary. Now, if you can practice saying these 10 words that are important when used in a classroom, next time you go to your English class, you can say things and sound like an American more than everyone else. Let's review it one more time. We have pencil, paper, teacher, children, classmates, homework, ruler, calculator, or calculator. Uh, eraser and dictionary. Dictionary, right? And those are your 10 schwa sound words or 10 words that are used in a classroom that may or may not have a schwa sound, but now you know which ones do and which ones don't. So that's the end of the episode for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned your stuff. Be sure to add me, vk.com slash Velochko. That's me. And subscribe to my YouTube page to see all of my videos. Thank you guys once again for 100,000 subscribers that I have. Uh, reporting live from Dnipro Petrovsk, and you know what the guy says at the end of all of my videos.
And don't be racist. <laughs> so don't be ra That is his catchphrase.